A groundbreaking was held today for a new middle school here in Lincoln. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Robinson was there and joins us with the details of what happened. Lauren? Rod, the groundbreaking was held near 84th and Yankee Hill Road, and that's where the new middle school will be built. But like another area middle school, there will be one trend sitting attachment to the building. The new school will be named Marilyn Moore Middle School after an educator who spent over 40 years with Lincoln Public Schools. It is an honor beyond words to have my name attached to this school. And those of you who know me that know that seldom is there something that is beyond my words. <laughs> but this is. The daughter of a teacher, Dr. Moore retired as associate superintendent. She started her career with LPS as a middle school teacher and jokes she's odd enough to have actually enjoyed it. Those of you who have been middle school teachers know that uh, that wonderful experience when someone asks you, so what do you do? And you say, I'm a middle school teacher. And they say, oh. <laughs> and then you say, and I like it. And they say, really? <laughs> yes, really. Similar to the arrangement between the YMCA and SCO Middle School, the Marilyn Moore Middle School will be attached to the new Koppel Family YMCA. Ed Koppel, who served on the LPS school board and has been a member at the Y for 82 years, says he's excited about the opening of another location. The YMCA, what can I say? I mean, I just, it's the greatest thing. If we could have a lot more YMCAs in America, we'd have a lot better country. It's uh, good in every respect. The school is aiming to open in two years, and even Mayor Chris Beitler spoke towards the accomplishments of the district's newest school's namesake. And I can confirm what a great champion of public education Maryland has been all these many years, and it's entirely appropriate that this new middle school will be named uh, for her. Now today was the first of three groundbreaking ceremonies for LPS this week. Next week, the new Bill Nurnberger Education Center will hold its ceremony, and the following week, the new Sally G. Wysong Elementary School.